Hello and welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some quick Oculus Rift settings that you can use uh, with the debug tool to make your recordings and streams look better. Also, if you uh, get yourself an Elgato HD 60 or 60S, you're going to allow yourself to have those really, really fast 60 frames per second streams without affecting kind of any, you know, headset quality whatsoever. So one thing is when you're doing these kind of settings, it's going to take more out of your graphics card. So you're going to want to have a powerful graphics card to uh, at least try this out. And of course, if you're going to be streaming or recording, I do recommend you get yourself a capture card of some sort. I'm using a, a separate laptop solution with my computer so that I can actually stream directly to the laptop and from the laptop record, or if I wanted to stream to another service. So without any further ado, we're gonna jump right into the settings so I can show you exactly what it is that I'm doing to make my streams or, or my recordings look better than they ever have before, especially with Echo Arena. Echo Arena is one game where you've got a lot of action happening, you have a lot of fast movement, and it's really difficult to give people a good perspective of what's happening in the game when you have those closed, zoomed-in uh, perspectives. So I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like normally without that and then uh, with it as well. So Okay, so what you're seeing right here is the normal quality that I would get when I would be streaming Echo Arena. As you can kind of see, the, the screen size is the way that it is right now. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's not so bad, but it's, it's not as easy to kind of see what's happening in the arena. Uh, and especially when you're going at fast speeds, it just doesn't look quite as good as it could. Okay, so here you can see it actually has a larger field of view. It looks definitely better than it did before. And we do have it a little bit crisper because we did change the super sampling up a little bit. And depending on how powerful your graphics card is, you can do it uh, much higher than that. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this folder right here. Okay, so as you can see, mine is in the program files, Oculus support, Oculus diagnostics. And then here we have this Oculus debug tool. So if I click on this Oculus debug tool right there, I'm going to be able to see these different settings that we have. And let me plug in my Rift real quick. Okay, so you can see over here, if you're playing with the tangent multiplayer, you can actually change things in here, like one and one would make it like, you know, a small headset. You can put like two and one, and then it makes it wider, right, right? And then you can do two and 1.5, right? Which makes it a little bit taller, but also really wide. And you can even go so much as to be like, I wanna go three, and you can go even, it doesn't go much wider than that. So uh, my, my preference here is two, 1.5. And then what I do is I close that, and then when I actually start a game... Okay, so here you can see we are playing Echo Arena right now, and we have a much larger field of view, because as I showed you just a second ago, we changed that FOV tangent multiplier to 2 uh, and 1.5, and now we can kind of see a much larger screen. It looks a little better, plus it's a little bit smoother. Um, one other thing that I can also do here is uh, with some games, not all of them, but not only can you super sample within the de debug tool, you can also super sample by holding down uh, your button here and going into the settings. For example, in this game, I can go over here to settings. Right here, it's got the resolution, and we can change this up to uh, you know a higher number. I've got it to 1.5, which is you know the highest that I can get without too many problems, especially when I'm also doing all the graphics qualities at as high as they can go with anti-aliasing. And uh, yeah, we've also got sharpening up to 1.5. So all those things added together allow us to have this kind of a, a really smooth looking experience. And as you can see right now, the frame rate isn't super terrible by any means, but uh, if I'm playing in virtual reality and I'm also trying to record at super high quality and, and do 60 frames per second, there are sometimes issues within the headset. So that's why I have kind of paired it up here with this Elgato and I'm gonna go ahead and show you just some of the video footage that I have from that test that I did last night. And, uh Here we go, we're gonna score right now. There we go, there we go. That's 
Here we are, another day in Echo Arena. This is the training facility where you can practice your skills of attempting to throw this disc. You can grab it, you can bring it Joy behind your back, you can just toss it and throw it, but most of all you want to get it in that actual spot here. Alright, welcome back guys, we're playing another game of Echo VR. We've got Lasagna Man right here, alright, Lasa Lasagna Man, and it looks like Dub, side. dub duck. Jello. Of course, man. Of course, you got the reality check on your side. Jello. Oh my God, have you ever had green Jello before? That's disgusting. I've had green Jello is horrible. No, it's a lime. It's a citrus. It's it's a good Jello. It's good, but it's not best. It's not Why are we talking about? Jello? I didn't say it was the best. <laughs> I just I mean... Jello instead of hello. <laughs> it was orange Jello. Bitch lasagna. Yeah! Yes! Three points. Wait, what is my... Has never looked so pretty. It's game on! Oh, okay. Well, that's awkward. Never. Ever. Oh, mama. What the... Children. Didn't you cry? But if I'm not back again this time tomorrow, it clears it out here, so. I just did that. Seriously, I want to know. Seriously, I want to know. Throw it, throw it. What? Distracted long enough, that's all I needed to do. What? Good game, good game. You pop a trap. Yeah, you pee about it in the What the heck? Hopefully, some of the information from this video is helpful to you and you can actually uh, use it to make better looking streams, better looking recordings. Certainly, uh, let me know if you have any other great tips in the comments below. I can't wait to do some more videos here very soon and, uh, of course, hear from you guys and see what your ideas are. So, thanks for watching once again and I hope you guys have a great day.